but we got ready before I started filming. I look way more presentable than I did an hour ago. London, we are in you. We are inside of you. We are inside of you, London. Room tour. So we actually got here like, uh, probably like an hour and a half ago. And we came to the hotel to drop off all of our bags. And then they were like, oh, your room's ready. And we were like, thank God. We were so gross. Our whole, our travel day was good, but it was so hot at JFK and then it was hot on the plane. So like we were actually so stinky, but um, we got here, we showered, we're about to go out, but I wanna show you guys what the room looks like. So we are doing a podcast here and that's why we chose this room cause they had a couch right when you walk in. And then they also have a little, what is this, record player. It's so cute though, like full living room, big TV. There's all the podcast stuff. And then you walk up these steps and then here's the master room. And there's also like a down step too. I literally have that pillow at home. Like it feels like home. The view is really pretty, but there's scaffolding as you can see. We weren't too concerned about it though. Cause we honestly don't plan on being in the room much more than sleeping and then podcasting one day. So we got a cheaper rate. So like win, win this little nook. It was really nice to do my makeup here. The lighting was fire. A little desk area. And then back here is like the closet space. It goes pretty deep. And then an ironing board. And the bathroom's so cute. I love all the, like the natural wood. It's This place is called Treehouse, I believe. Treehouse, right? And I, I love how like, I'll even show you in the lobby, like they really lean into like a woodsy earthy vibe that and the shower and i love how you can like see into the room oh i so, oh, so thought you really take off your pants um but then you can close the curtain too and have some privacy so cute and like everything's so cute little mirror hey clock oh my god is it gonna go 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 i can't really narrate this tour right now i'm just running on fumes i could not sleep on the damn flight so i'm very, very tired right now. I'm pulling an all-nighter at this point. Um, but we actually, I just totally zoned out while I was vlogging. We have an eight ball, a magic eight ball in this room. And the first question we asked was, should we get a drink? And what did it say? As, as I see it, yes. yes. <laughs> so we are gonna get a drink because I kind of feel like that's the only way I'm gonna get through this like fatigue. It's just like upper an upper well actually alcohol is quite literally a downer I if it's tequila. oh yeah tequila's an upper so what else should we ask it Bye. will alex find the love of her life you may rely on it okay i don't know if that's <laughs> i'm gonna ask it again yeah. will alex find the love of her life be more specific yeah be, be more specific oh it is decidedly so I believe it. She's not even gonna come home. She's about to stay here. Oh my god, there's a kaleidoscope! Look at the, um, show them the mini record player. Oh, I did. We have to pull out one of those mini rec records. There we go. That's terrifying. Alex on the turntables! <laughs> wicky wicky! <laughs> London underground, baby. Okay, we're gonna get food, we're gonna go exploring, but I'm gonna leave you here and I'm gonna vlog on my phone. So we got bread and hummus. Got a little appetizer with the, these drinks. And before we left for the trip, I had acupuncture. My acupuncturist was like, dude, you're gonna realize how much the food international, like, internationally like out of america the gluten's not gonna bug you the like all the thing all the foods that bug me in the states aren't gonna bug me i just had a giant piece of sourdough bread that would usually get me give me a little gluten stomach ache and i feel a1 right now what is wrong a1. with our food i wish i could like experience that because i always feel a1 <laughs> okay all right we'll just think of it like Red wine gives you headaches, or uh, sorry, itchy nose. Imagine that was just American red wine and you were able to go enjoy red wine everywhere else now. Nothing stopping me. Exactly. Convenience. Exactly. <laughs> like 
pub hopping at this point. And I found Tato chips and I haven't had these since I was in Ireland a few years ago. These are my favorite fucking chips. The texture is unmatched. Also, I got a Guinness and I've been trying to master the perfect like rate in which I need to drink to get into the middle of the G in one sip. So I'm gonna try. I think I have it down. It's my first time trying since thinking I had it down. <laughs> Here we go. This is the first time I've overshot, so undershot, overshot, now I'm gonna get it right next yeah, time. Yeah, you're finding your head medium. Good morning, it is the next day. It is 11, 10 a.m. We definitely slept in a little bit, but I feel like it was a good amount of time for us to adjust. We ended up getting home at like eight and then just kind of been in and out of sleep for the past 12 hours, but I feel like we needed that early night to like, acclimate to the time zone but I'm pretty tired right now we're gonna go upstairs to brunch we have a brunch in the building at madera and it looks so good hi little guy Let's have a good day <sighs> tired Alex got some film because she has her almost film camera and then I got a little disposable. The price is actually the same. I thought it would be like way oh, more. Like 10 bucks? No, like 15. Okay. It's like it is on Amazon, I feel like. Yay! And now we're going to the palace. like a movie set like I feel like I'm at Universal Studios <laughs> leave it to the fucking Americans to relate something to Universal Studios that's all I know I got it so pretty <laughs> I should probably give some context to this part. So the video you're about to see, Alex and I have been walking around all day sightseeing, as you can see, and right as we sat down in front of Big Ben, the cock, the cog, <laughs> the clock struck, was it two? And the second, literally the millisecond I started recording this and we sat our butts down, it did, it did its thing. And it was like such, we looked at each other, it was such a moment. Like I wish as recording it, I also had the front camera for our reaction because it was like, I felt like I was in like a Mary Kate Ashley movie. It was so cool. We have been walking around. We went to the London Eye. We saw Big Ben and now we're going on the underground for the first time. So far, it feels like the subway, but I know it's gonna be a lot cleaner. Oh yeah, 
because this, you got this for it. That, and these were, I got these right before Coachella, which is yeah. my birthday. And I bought this for your birthday. That. You wore this on your birthday last year. I'm an outfit repeater. Is it going to outfit repeater? We're going to Magic Mike. Woo! Woo! Our friend Lee, his friend is Mike. <laughs> Wait, one of the mics? One of one of the dancers? One of the dancers. One of the dancers. And uh, he had extra tickets. So we're going tonight. It was not planned, but they're premium seats, so I'm hoping that Alex and I get pulled up stage. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to bring my phone. I'm not bringing this camera, but we just had dinner on um, the roof of our restaurant, Madeira. Holy shit, the best steak tacos I've ever had in my life. And I haven't had a good steak taco since California. And the fact that my first good steak taco since California was in London, I, this is great. Real penis is so much bigger. It's really thick as well, you fucking love it. dive about the show on the podcast you guys will hear it there it was so good though but now we're getting breakfast and then our friend lee is coming to meet us in london but i found a breakfast place that literally has my favorite breakfast the yogurt and the eggs i'm so excited at this point in the trip i really did take the rest of the time to be very present and i did not record that much at all you didn't miss much because i also posted a lot on instagram and the the rest of the activities i did i did post as reels on my instagram but if you didn't see it to give you some context the next day was my birthday and you're about to see us going to high tea literally we sit down at high tea i was like already kind of feeling kind of weird just like off my stomach was kind of hurting but also that's like not that weird for me so then we're like a cup of tea in a few little finger sandwiches in and i look at alex and i was like i feel off i feel like i'm gonna pass out i definitely don't say that lightly either i'm very much a hypochondriac so i would never say i'm gonna pass out unless i really felt like it because then i would just freak myself out more but I started getting the tunnel vision like it was happening. So right away, hold on, look how good this is. Cherry juice. Mm, so good. Anyway, Alex is like, put your leg, put your head between your legs. And we ended up going to the bathroom, took a breather, kind of let it pass. Honestly, the full version of the story is on the podcast episode we just did. Um, we literally for like over an hour talked about every detail of our trip so I will link that in the description if you want to go listen to like the whole trip in detail. And then the day after that, we went and played Life Size Monopoly. It was really cool in theory, but they definitely like missed a lot of like the authentic Monopoly experience, which, you know, I'm sure it was really hard to develop that whole concept. And I guess it would be hard to make a life size version of a game that can take hours and sometimes days to finish so it was still really cool it's a cool experience if you're ever in that area i definitely i would do it if you're a monopoly fan it was still just like cool to do but i when i booked it we were obviously still in the states and then i blame it on my phone my phone didn't or like maybe i put it in under the wrong time zone but like the time zone got messed up. So when we were in London, I was looking at my phone, it said the reservation was for six, but it was actually for one. So we pull up at 6.15, she's like, oh, I actually have you marked as a no-show. We had you guys at 1.15. 
but they were very nice. They let us still play a game, which was very nice. Again, everything is in detail on the re most recent episode of Advice. I also had to take down that video and re-upload it because my literal kuka was hanging out for the last 30 minutes of the episode. So if you got to see the original, happy birthday. London was absolutely magical though. I, I already know I wanna go back. It was definitely one of those places that I feel like so comfortable being in. It didn't feel too out of my element which was nice. It, at least where we were staying, it reminded us of New York a lot. So I feel like we were very comfortable with like the pace of the lifestyle there. But yeah, I'm home now and I've been home for a few days. And then this weekend I go to LA for like over two weeks, almost, no, three weeks. You know when you like get home from a trip and you kind of do want to like chill for a little bit? But now I'll, I literally unpacked my suitcase a few days ago and I'm about to repack it tomorrow to leave again. But it's all good things, it's all fun stuff. Okay, please enjoy the rest of the footage. Mm -hmm. 